All right, guys, it is currently 2.04. Welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be quite a good and eventful day, man. We did get something in the mail that I was not expecting for a few more days, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it in this video, man. If you guys do remember, about two videos ago, I got those Swift Loring Springs installed in the Type R, and it came out looking amazing, man. Only downside to it was I didn't clear the gap for the wheels pushing outward. So I did order some wheel spacers that day. They didn't ship out to like, Thursday or Friday and they got here today man today's Monday so they got here a lot faster than I expected super fast shipping man so let me go ahead and show y'all what we picked up man go ahead and show the little box they came in man got a dope little design on it and yeah let's go ahead and pull one of these out I don't know exactly how you pronounce this brand but I'm gonna go ahead and say it's called Bonos so yeah we went ahead and picked up the 15 millimeter spacers I was looking on forums and other places where people have had some installed. It was between these or the 20 millimeter, and I saw it on the 20 millimeter. You might need to cut the studs to avoid any noises, and I didn't want to deal with any of that, man. I just wanted to be plug and play. So hopefully we achieve the fitment and the look we want out of these 15 millimeter, and hopefully it's quick and easy install, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head down to Rigo's. Hopefully, like I said, we're in and out maybe within 20, 30 minutes. It's a quick and easy install, so it shouldn't be too crazy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open one of them so we could show you guys what they look like. They're pretty cool, man, so let's go ahead and get to it. So here they are, man, pretty dope looking spacers. They're all black, so it's gonna match the car. You're not even gonna be able to really notice that they're there. And they also have their dope little logo on there. These are really cool, man, they look really nice. Feels like really high quality. You guys can read everything on there. And this did say it has an active cooling system. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know exactly what the point of that is since it's a wheel spacer. I don't know how exactly um, it's going to keep your wheel cool. But yeah, I guess that's what those little grooves are for. Um, air is supposed to flow through those and keep your wheel cool. And like I said, I don't know exactly how that's supposed to work or what it's really supposed to work for. But yeah, go, go ahead and get these down to Rigo's and get them installed on the Type R, man. All right, guys, so I got the spacer safely loaded up into the car. I did just want to show you all the front and the rear before we throw the spacers on so you guys can see exactly what it looks like now and see what it looks like after they're installed. If you're returning to the channel, then you guys probably already saw what it looks like. But if not, let me go ahead and show you all. Get a little closer here. So we did have about a three-finger gap prior to the springs. Right now we got about a two-finger, finger-and-a-half gap. Springs probably still need about a few more days to settle or just a few more miles. But yeah, I don't know how good you guys can see that wheel needs to be outward a whole lot more line up a little more you know with the fender just to look a lot nicer because right now I think it looks a little goofy and I do not plan on upgrading wheels I want to keep these stocks I think the stocks look amazing on this car one of the only cars with stock wheels that I think looks amazing but yeah let's go ahead and go over to the rear you guys can see the rear a whole lot more at least in my opinion I think the rear looks a lot worse than the front but yeah man we need to clear that gap ASAP. So, gonna go ahead and make our way down to Rigo's, and like I said, hopefully, quick and easy install, and then we can get back to the rest of this video. Yep. I love hearing her turn on every time, man. Such a good feeling. Such a good feeling. I'm bad at keeping this car on the road, man. I think I've only driven it for like, since we've got the springs installed, I think I've only put maybe like 30, 40 miles on the car. I, oh man, I don't show enough love to the cars, I feel like. But I also feel like it's showing them love, keeping them nice and clean in the garage, you know. Can't keep them out in the sun and let them rot. At least the cars I love, can't let them do that. So yeah, make our way down to Rigo's, man. All right, guys, so we're here at Rigo's. About to see how quick we could get this thing in and out so we can head back home and finish up today's video, man. We got something special planned. Got a dope little hash hold home waiting for us. It's supposedly a High Times Award winner, so I'm anxious to get home and try this thing out, man. All right, guys, so I'm back home from Rigo's, and shout out to them, man, because they always take amazing care of the car, and I'm always super happy with the work that gets done, man. No half-assed work. Everything is A1, dude. Shout out to them. Y'all, ever in the area need some work done on your car, hit them up, man. You won't be disappointed with the work done. So, let me go ahead and show y'all how the car looks now. It is so, so good, man. At least I think so, y'all. Y'all leave your opinion down in the comments, man. But look at this. Look at this, man. Oh, shit. Bro, this shit looks so much better than it did right now. Like, so, so much better. Let's go ahead and go to the rear real quick. Because this, this is where I could really tell. Where it really looked a little off and funky to me. But yeah, man, these things, ah, uh, these spacers really did this car justice. It really popped the wheel out exactly, like exactly how I wanted it, man. People, people want different fitment, but this is the fitment I wanted to achieve, and I'm honestly really happy that I got what I was looking for, man. Pretty cheap, too. I think I only paid like 230 bucks for the spacers, man. Really high quality, and like I said, that black really looks good on the car. Let me go ahead and see if the camera will pick them up. I know you guys can see them right back there. 
But yeah, blends in really well with the wheel. Really pleased with these, man. So let's go ahead and continue with today's video, man. Like I said, we got a hash hole waiting for us. So let's make our way up to the office. All right, so we're up in the office, man, and it is time to smoke. I haven't smoked all day, so we need to get something in, man. Like I told y'all, we had a hash hole waiting here at home. So let's go ahead and hop on this, man. We got a high times first place award winning hash hole from the homies over at Headspace Alchemy. This is Cold Snaps. Um, cross with Shy Town. Let's see what we got here. Um, single source cold cure hash rosin. That's what's going to be the worm in there. And yeah, cold snap slash Shy Town to hybrid. And the THC on this is 43.9%, man. I'm not really a THC percentage type of guy. I'm more of a smoke. You see how it makes me feel. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and smoked down, man. All right, so we got the packaging open, man, and it comes in this dope ass little tube. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. That way we could get the hash hole out, man. There's so many packages for these things. All right, let's see. Let's see how hard it's, see how long it's gonna take me to get it out the tube. All right, there we go. All right, set that there. So here is the little logo that they got on it, which is pretty dope. Do I have that upside down? No, I don't. Wait, yeah, no, it's correct. <laughs> it says mini hash hole on there. So yeah, man. Let's go ahead and spark this thing up and see see how good a High Times Award winner is, man. I have, I have very high hopes for this, and I mean like super high hopes. I've already smoked one of their hash holes before. I think it was like a black cherry soda or something like that. It was good. It wasn't too much of my flavoring, but it got me high as fuck, man. I would have given that one, like if I would have reviewed that one, I probably would have given that like a 9, mainly just because I didn't like the flavor all too much. But I have really high hopes for this one. It smells... Smells like the type of shit I like to smoke, man. Like my type of flavoring. So have high hopes for this. Go ahead and spark this thing up, man. Want to go ahead and get a nice, even little burn. Let it burn a little bit before you start hitting it. Again, you don't want to power puff these things. Let them burn nice and even. You ain't trying to race to the bottom, man. Enjoy that high. The worms usually... It's like closer to the middle or the bottom, I would say. So you start off, you know, with some good greens and move on into it. And go ahead and spark this up just a little more. Light it up a little more. Get more evenness to it. Oh, yeah. Tastes pretty good right off the rip, man. First hit. Loving the taste. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good smoke, man. I can't wait to get to that hash hole. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and talk about the car, man. What, what do y'all think? Let leave a comment down in the section below and let me know what you guys think about the car, man. Did it come out looking dope? What do you guys think about it, man? Like I said, I'm not gonna be doing wheels or anything. I'm gonna just leave it as it is, man. Cosmetically, it's pretty much done. I was thinking about doing a front lip. I'm going to be honest, man. It hurts me to drill into that car because I'm not a 3M tape kind of guy. I don't like putting 3M tape on anything. One, it'll fall off. Two, it leaves residue. And three, I mean, if you're just putting 3M tape and nothing else, I mean, that's already all bad. So more than likely, you're already drilling into the car. So there's no need for none of that tape, man. Just go ahead and drill it all the way in and make sure it's nice and sturdy. So don't go flying off when you're driving, man, because that, that would suck. So yeah, I'm on the fence about that. What do you guys think? Uh, there, there's a bunch of lips out there. There's some carbon ones, regular ones, but what do you guys think? You guys think the car needs a lip? Or you think it's good like that, man? Personally, I think it's good, but who knows? Maybe with enough encouragement, I might fuck around and throw a lip on that thing, man. Other than that, I did want to tell you guys, so I don't know if you guys remember early in the video, I was talking about the wheel spacers, how they have that active cooling, and I wasn't sure what it was for. So the homie there at Rigos told me that it's more than likely like an active cooling system for her to help with your brakes. So I'm like, oh, okay, that makes that makes a lot more sense in it cooling your wheel, I guess, because that's what it says on the box. It says cool your wheels, but I'm thinking it's maybe to like you're putting the spacers on so your wheel looks cool and then it has a cooling, so it's kind of like a, a two-in-one. But yeah, for the most part, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's to help cool your brakes. So hopefully that's what it's for and it does have a use. I mean, I'm sure it has a use. I don't see why it wouldn't. So, I mean... I'm just I'm just happy overall with today, man. Today's been a very good day. Car looks good. I'm super, super happy with it, man. Look at this burn. 
nice white ash. That's exactly what you want to see when you're smoking something, man. You don't want to see none of that black ash. You just know it's all bad when it's all black. Oh, yeah. It's a good smoke, man. Very, very, very good smoke. I am really enjoying this. Shout out to the people at Headspace Alchemy, man. They, they know what they're doing over there, man. They know what they're doing. We're a little, we're a little bit away from that worm. A couple more, a couple more minutes and we'll be there. So let me go ahead and smoke this down a little more and then get back to y'all. These things are fucking fire, man. I am baked off my ass. I don't know if you guys could tell, but my eyes feel like they're about to close all on their own, man. Look at that. Look at that hash hole, man. Little donut. <coughs> Goddamn. Still lingering. This this is it, man. This is it. It's a smoker right here, man. They know what they're doing down at Headspace. I fuck with these, man. I fuck with this uh, flavor, man. This award winner is most definitely an award winner. I mean, it lives up to the award. <laughs> I'm high off my ass, man. I am baked. So we're going to go ahead and smoke the rest of this thing down. And go ahead and give our review, man. But I'm pretty sure you guys already know where this is going because I'm loving this thing, man. All right, so I'm just about done with this hash holes. You guys can see I smoked it down to nothing because he straight through that thing. So it's pretty obvious that I fucked with it, man. Really good flavor, really good high, and overall just a really, really good smoke, man. I really, really fucked with this. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10 out of a 10, man. It is most definitely a high times first place award winner for New Mexico 2023, right there on the package, man. I really, really did like this. Um, I don't know where else their products are located, but I did pick this up over at Field of Dreams. So if you guys wanna try it out, hit them up there or check out uh, Headspace Alchemy on Instagram and see where else you could pick up that product and some more of their stuff, man. But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. You guys could tell I'm getting caught in mouth. I need to get something to drink, something to eat. You guys know the drill. Uh, wasn't too, too eventful. Got those spacers on the car, but I am really, really happy with the look. And I'm really happy that we got to try this uh, hash hole out, man. Really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video on that note. So yeah, y'all please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.